Hello and welcome to episode number 45 of WITM Season 5. And it is time for NXT. Hello and welcome to episode and number 45. And Master for the third week is going to be in action taking on Kona Reeves. But there's going to be a little bit more to it as you will find out soon. As you can see in the title, we will have build up to the NXT North American title match coming up soon. Yeah, Masters next defense of the title. But on the surface, what we have is a rematch from the previous two weeks that saw Ayat Master completely outdo Kona Reeves. Will we see the same dominance this week? Let's find out and get tonight's match underway. This match is underway. Last week, AI Master absolutely destroyed Kona Reeves. All he needed was a few moves. And his gun stun finisher, and that was all it took to defeat Kona Reeves. Kona Reeves already put a better fight than he did last week. But it's still AI Master in control. There's an uppercut straight to the head of Kona Reeves. And a stomp. Kona Reeves with a reversal, again, already mounting more offense than he did last week. Now they take the fight to the outside. We got a visitor. Oh, yeah, check it out. And Roderick Strong has made his way to the ring. Roderick Strong of Undisputed Era. This could be it. Oh, good. What a disgusting way to treat a WWE official. This match is tossed out. And that's not how that was supposed to go, but whatever. Good job, game. But anyway, let's continue because there is more. Enough of the prelims. Time for the main event. Singles action coming your way. 
Yeah, Roderick Strong's target was supposed to be AI Master in case. <laughs> that hasn't been established, but it still kind of works with what we got going on, so. And the beatdown continues. Now AI Master taken out by Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish of Undisputed Era. And now the leader of Undisputed Era has made his way to the ring. We've seen all four members of Undisputed Era now. Roderick Strong came to the ring and attacked Kona Reeves. Then Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly attacked at Master and Kona Reeves. Now the leader, Adam Cole, is in the ring. What does he have to say? And we don't see at Master in this picture. We'll just assume he's... On the ground, still recovering, but Adam Cole is addressing the NXT North American Champion, AI Master. I started 2018 as NXT North American Champion. Then you came along, and I'll admit, I underestimated you. 2018 goes to the AI Master. But this is 2019, and 2019 will be undisputed. Last week, I proved that I am still Adam Cole, baby. The best that any brand in the WWE has to offer when I was the winner of the Worlds Collide Tournament. And I read the fine print, and it says I get a title match for any title in NXT. And I choose a match for the NXT North American Championship. For your last few moments in NXT. Your last few moments are relevant. Because once those three weeks are up, I will regain what you took from me in 2018. And then you can fade away into irrelevancy. And we don't see it, but Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and Roderick Strong continue their beatdown of AI Master and Kona Reeves. Adam Cole grabs the NXT North American Championship and raises it high above his head. And is that what we will see in three weeks? Adam Cole, who spent... The whole second half of 2018. Enough's enough. Time for the main event. Don't change that dial. Adam Cole spent the whole second half of 2018 being dominated by Ayat Master, losing his NXT North American title to him, losing in non-title matches before that, and in a match where Adam Cole was accompanied to the ring by the entire rest of Undisputed Era, Ayat Master still beat him one-on-one. -on -one. But Adam Cole won the Worlds Collide Tournament, defeating WITM's Aaron Danger in the finals. And will he be able to cash that in successfully and become NXT North American Champion in three weeks? That remains to be seen, but for now, let's focus on the current week of NXT, which started off with... One moment. The Forgotten Sons defeating... Danny Burch and Oni Lurkin in tag team action. Velveteen Dream defeating Johnny Gargano. Well, you probably won't even count in this match. But technically, Kona Reese wins by DQ. And Tommaso Ciampa defeated Aleister Black in the main event. So, not much actual action in the terms of and ring action today but we do have build up for a masters next title defense it will be in three weeks against the man he feuded with for much of 2018 adam cole and how these results affect the rankings on nxt let's find out the nxt women were not in action it's been the same rankings for pretty much the past month for some reason, NXT does not like to book their women in, in this game. So, yeah, you've heard me recap it plenty of times. I won't do it again until something changes there. In the NXT Tag Team Division, 
The Forgotten Sons defeated Danny Birch and Oni Lorcan. Forgotten Sons remain number one contenders. Birch and Lorcan drop to number four, which is good news for the Demons, who get a free move up to number three. The NXT Tag Team Champions are War Raiders, number one contenders, Forgotten Sons, number two, Undisputed Era, number three, The Demons, number four, Birch and Lorcan, and number five, Street Profits. And the NXT North American Championship Division, with us throwing out the AI Master and Kona Reeves match, no change here either. But we will recap the champions AI Master, number one contender, Akasha Sono, number two, Kona Reeves, number three, Dominic Diakovic, number four, Marcel Barthel. Number 5, Adam Cole. Number 6, Matt Riddle. Number 7, Keith Lee. And number 8, Punishment Martinez. In the NXT Championship rankings, Velveteen Dream defeated Johnny Gargano. Dream becomes their one contender. Gargano falls to the bottom, number 4. Tommaso Ciampa defeated Aleister Black. Ciampa moves up to number 2, swapping with Black, who falls to number 3. The NXT Champion is Ricochet, number one contender, Velveteen Dream. Number two, Tommaso Ciampa. Number three, Aleister Black. And number four, Johnny Gargano. Now we move on to Raw's minor show main event. Neither Dalton or Corey are currently eligible. So we will sim. And get you your results and rankings update for that show. The Revival defeated the newly reunited Major Brothers, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Apollo Crews defeated his former tag team partner, Titus O'Neil. And six-man tag team action, the team of Heath Slater and... Heath Slater, Rhino, and Tyler Breeze defeated Bobby Roode, Chad Gable, and Mojo Rawley. And how's that affect the rankings on Raw? Specifically, their Raw's Tag Team Division and Eric Connell Title Division. Let's find out. In the Raw Tag Team Division, the Revival defeated Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Revival remained number one contenders. Hawkins and Ryder followed to number five. The Raw Tag Team Champions are the Ascension. Number one contenders, the Revival. Number two, Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Number three, the B Team. Number four, Lucia House Party. Number five, Hawkins and Ryder. Number six, Heavy Machinery. Number seven, Heath Slater and Rhino. Or actually, my bad, I f f forgot to include Heath Slater and Rhino's match. They won and move up to number 6. Bobby Roode and Chad Gable lost and fall to number 3. The Ascension are champions, Revival 1, B-Team 2, Roode and Gable 3, Lucha House Party 4, Hawkins and Ryder 5, Slater and Rhino 6, and Heavy Machine Ray 7. This is what happens when I stream when I'm tired, I apologize. And the Arcano Championship Division... Apollo Crews defeated Titus O'Neil. Crews was up to number 6. O'Neill falls to number 11. And then the six-man tag, Tyler Breeze was on the winning team and surprisingly remains number one contender. Mojo Raleigh was on the losing side and falls to number 3, which is good news for WITM's Corey, who gets a free rank up to number 2. The Arcano champion is Bobby Lashley, number one contender, Tyler Breeze. Number two, Corey. Number three, Mojo Raleigh. Number four, Dolph Ziggler. Number five, Noe Jose. Number six, Apollo Crews. Number seven, Baron Corbin. Number eight, Elias. Number nine, Jinder Mahal. Number ten, Dean Ambrose. Number eleven, Titus O'Neil. And number twelve, EC3. And now I need to copy the save. That way we don't have to go a week without any streaming. Because Elimination Chamber is the next thing on this calendar, but that's not for another week and a half in real life, so. I'm going to copy the save.
then on this backup save, delete Elimination Chamber. And then we'll play out the third week. Copy over the rankings onto the main save after we finish the third week. And then go back to the main save and do Elimination Chamber. So will we see Dalton accompanied by the Daemons and or Corey in action? And right away, we are going to see Corey make his return to Monday Night Raw after being left off the card the past two weeks. He'll be taking on Dolph Ziggler in the opening match on Raw. Dalton Roush will be in action as well. He'll be taking on the Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman, and I have to officially make them his manager so the game automatically books them with Dalton. But Dalton Roush will be accompanied by the Demons in that matchup, so we're going to have... Four WITM members in some sort of role on the card, whether they be wrestlers or managers, that's pretty cool. That's more than we usually have on a regular non-pay-per-view card. So, that is going to do it for episode number 45. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single moment of WITM action. Check out the links in the description. The first is the WITM website. That's how you can find out becoming a WIT member for free and get your own custom character with custom entrance, movesets, promos, and storylines. Between it being the Road WrestleMania and some of our post WrestleMania plans, now is a great time to join the WITM action. Check out the WITM Twitter as well for at least WITM related news, announcements, and updates. Until number episode number 46. Monday night around 11.30 Eastern Time, where Corey will be in action against Dolph Ziggler, and Don Roush will be accompanied by the Demons in action against Braun Strowman. This is Corey with WITM Car Wrestling, signing off.